Hi guys, this is Robert K3 Triple R, and this is a, a short video to show you the tests I ran for the Chameleon P2 Mag Loop that Carl sent me to test out. We took it with us on our recent vacation trip to Chickatee, Virginia, uh, which is a terrific location. My wife loves it. I love it. And we got a hotel with a balcony so I could test the antennas and see how well I loved it. Here we have our P loop, P2 loop, I should say, on the balcony here in Chickatee. And uh, see the power compensator that lets me go up to 60 watts SSB. Chain knob down below. And this is a view from our balcony. Marshes of Chickatee. This video is not intended to be a tutorial on learning everything you need to know about JT65. It's one of my favorite modes. It is a lot like watching paint drive since it takes about one minute exactly for each, each side of the exchange because of the error checking that goes into the uh, protocol. Uh, here you can see though with JT Alert the kinds of states and countries that is being received by the chameleon antenna and that's one of the things I love about the program and I thought it would be a very good way to see just how well this loop antenna works portable sitting on a balcony as you see at the top if it's in green that means they're calling CQ if it's in blue that means I have not worked them on this band there's Israel, Czech Republic uh, there you see Canada, Mexico, Argentina again Israel, Poland, Germany, Ecuador, and Italy this is also on 40 meters this is not on 20 meters so I'm actually very surprised and very pleased how well this thing seems to be receiving particularly with band conditions the way they've been for the past several months again you see Bosnia show up and there, you see one in gray that means I've worked that particular station before there's Russia uh, this is a great way to find the countries you have not worked before or the states that you have not worked if you're pursuing WAS for a particular band uh, and you can actually set alerts audible alerts there's China coming in with a reasonable signal Belgium um, Czech Republic, Ukraine again. Uh, it's amazing. This is on 40 meters. Uh, and again, you see the, the kinds of stations that are coming through uh, on this. Again, I said this is like watching paint dry. So what we've done is speed everything up 10 times. So what normally takes 60 seconds is taking 6 seconds in what you're viewing. So you have to look quickly to see as things roll by uh, the different kinds of stations that are being received each minute. Uh, but again, to be able to receive this much DX on 40 meters with these band conditions, with this little portable magnetic loop antenna is uh, frankly astounding. If you look down below, you can see the actual information being exchanged between the two stations. Under info, you can see the country code. Under the DB column, you can see the uh, signal strength of each of these stations as being received by the chameleon antenna. The uh, Chinese station was minus 22. Uh, if 
you remember that one from uh, a couple minutes ago. There's Greece. First time I've seen that one. Uh, so, again, uh, this is doing remarkably well. And I'm looking forward to actually transmitting with this loop uh, on JT65. I didn't have a chance to on this particular session. Uh, actually, this is a screen grab that I did while my wife and I went out and did some exploring. Screen grabs are wonderful things. But this is about an hour's worth of continuous screen grabs that again has been boiled down to about six minutes worth of video for you. We do have another video I'm going to be putting together in the next couple of days that shows us taking this P2 loop out to uh, the National Wildlife Refuge and uh, setting up a station and actually making a contact with it. Uh, and uh, once I have that together, I'll upload that also to YouTube here. So that should give you some feel for how well the receive side is on this little portable antenna. And um, if you have any questions, uh, drop a note, question down below. And uh, if you like what you saw, I'd appreciate it if you would uh, click the uh, like and the subscribe buttons. 73 to you. This is Robert, K3RRR.